Hey guys, for sure you start here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue if you cannot send audio message at this time, your message you get. Now, there's multiple reasons why you're getting this, and we're going to walk you guys through most of the troubleshooting steps that will resolve this issue because it could be slightly different for anyone facing this issue and we'll walk through every single possible fix there is. So let's dive right into it. So first thing first is to understand why you're getting this. Usually with audio messages on iPhones when you send this, you need a couple things. For example, you need a good Wi-Fi or a data connection. You also need to make sure the person that you're texting also has a Apple device as well because audio message through iMessage is being sent so we're going to take a look at that as well so let's dive right into it. the first thing first to make sure is first if you're on wi-fi make sure of course your wi-fi connection is working and you can simply check that by going into uh, your internet or something open up the internet and go to browse to internet make sure you have internet connection now if you're using cellular data same thing here you're going to want to go into settings here just like that so you go into settings you're gonna go ahead and check the cellular option here and make sure you have cellular data. We don't have cellular data, but make sure you want to have cellular data turned on there. The other thing also to do is we're gonna turn on airplane mode and then turn off airplane mode just so that it does a network refresh. Usually if there's anything wrong with the connectivity, it will resolve that issue. So those are quick things to do. Now the next thing you want to do is after you have done that, make sure, making sure you have good Wi-Fi connection or data connection is go ahead and do the first thing, which is gonna be closing up. So you're gonna slide it up from just like this, how we're doing. So you press and hold to slide up all the open apps again just like that slide it up and then go to your messages app and we're going to close out the messages app just like that and then this time what it does is it force closes it basically next time you go on it will restart again just giving the phone a fresh recap. You can also hold it like this, close it out a few times just to make sure it's not just something, a glitch or something happening. So you wanna do that as well. Now after you have done that, if you're still having issues, now you're gonna go into settings. Now this time in settings, we're gonna scroll down here, look for messages option right here, click on messages, and then find iMessages right here and make sure iMessage is turned on just like that. If it's saying waiting for activation, that means iMessage isn't working, turn it off and then try to turn it back on. And essentially after you do that, you should be able to see either email or phone number to receive iMessage. That means iMessage is working for you. So it's important that you have this on and you see a number or an email if you're using the email for your iMessages. And now try to see if you can send audio message now after you have done that what the next thing you want to do is do a force restart so to do a force restart on iphone you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down so these are going to be quick and then finally to hold this side button on the right hand side until the screen goes completely black and you see the apple logo again and then you'll let go of that button so to do it in real time you're going to do volume up volume down and then hold this side button just like that as you can see, I'm holding the side button. I'm not gonna slide to power off because that will just be a normal shutdown. The reason why we do this method of force restart is it refreshes and rebo reboots the phone with reloading the code and making sure if there's any software related issue causing the phone to not function, usually this will resolve those minor software issues. One of the very first go-to steps when it comes to troubleshooting iPhone is doing a force restart. Again, releasing the volume up and then volume down really quick and then holding that side button just like that till the screen goes black. Now if Siri activates for some reason just like this when you're doing this, like if I'm holding this, Siri activates, that means you didn't press the volume up and down quick enough. So do that, force restart and try to see if you can send a message now. Now if you still can't send it, the next thing you can do is go into settings here and this time once you go into settings, we're going to look for accessibility right here. And then in accessibility, we're gonna look for this option for sound recognition. So sound recognition should be turned off. Most people don't use it, but if you do turn it on, turn it back off just like that, do one more, but keep it off just like that so that what happens is when you're doing an audio recording, sound recognition listens for a certain audio. It could be interfering with the audio message you're trying to record, which again, could be an issue with the phone not being able to do the audio message for you. So after you have done that, now you wanna go ahead and kind of close that out. And the next troubleshooting steps that you wanna do if you're still having the issue here 
it's going to be doing a software update. So to do a software update, you're going to, again, go in settings. This time we're going to general and then software update and see if there's an update out. So if there is the update out, it will say download and install. You click on that and update the software of your version. So as the time of recording, as you can see, the latest version is 16.2, which is the latest version for this phone. So we can't really do a software update, but it's good to always do a software update because sometimes with... Uh, updates, previous updates could be causing a software bug or glitch preventing certain functionality not to work and then Apple releases a new software update to fix that so it's always up to, good to update your phone. Now if you have done that and you're still having issue, the final thing you can uh, do is go into settings again and this time we're going to general and then we're going to scroll down over here and where it says transfer or reset iPhone, we're going to click on that and then we'll click on the first option which says reset. Now you get a bunch of reset options. The option that we want to do is this option here which says reset network settings. So what does a network reset do before we do it? Basically it deletes things like uh, related with the network like saved Wi-Fi password, if you have VPN settings, anything wrong with the connectivity of your phone. Again, when you click on that it will take about maybe a minute or two to just go through and delete all of that and next time you just connect to Wi-Fi if you're connecting to Wi-Fi again all of that so before you do that make sure you know that you're gonna have to reconnect to all of your Wi-Fi again and if you have VPN setting or profile setup you'll have to just set those up but generally that will help as well fixing that issue so once you have gone through all of that the other final thing to test is make sure that your phone doesn't have a broken hardware with the audio speaker itself is to open up voice memo. So I usually like to open up voice memo just like this. You're gonna search for, or actually go ahead and find voice memo. It's a pre-install app on your iPhone. And click on voicemail, voice memos like this. You're gonna hit here and record a voicemail. And as you can see, as you see those bars up there, that means the microphone is working. And all we're doing is gonna just to test to make sure. As you can see, as you see those bars up there. See that the audio microphone is working on your phone because sometimes if the microphone is damaged you're not going to be able to do audio recording in that case you need to go ahead and take it to the apple store authorized retailer that fixes the microphone itself because it might be hardware related issue causing the functionality of audio message not being able to send so those are going to be the top troubleshooting tip that you want to follow and hopefully by end of the video you can go ahead and select the thing that you want to send audio message and now you can hold and record to send audio message just like that which normally would happen so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and let us know which of the following tip work for you guys in resolving this issue to be able to send audio message leave a comment in the comment section and we'll catch you guys in the next video see you guys next time